Uh, good evening, all. And uh, thank you very much, uh, Excellency, for the opportunity. And uh, we're happy to be here to share our country experience to the global community. Uh, before starting the slides, uh, I want to just give you an update on uh, COVID, uh, cholera in Ethiopia is uh, one of the critical challenge, as you know, challenge of public health uh, threats for a globe. And Ethiopia is one of the country which affected uh, multiple times uh, due, to COVID, uh, due to cholera. And uh, especially from uh, the year uh, 2007 and 2008, is there was a great, uh, huge outbreak in uh, cholera. And also we managed using different pillars. At that time, uh, the, the OCV not yet started. And even the, the name of cholera yet not be named by cholera. We were using like a cutotary diarrhea. So that was one of the areas that the great shift was done in uh, during the year of uh, uh, 2019 and also 2020 and 2021. So I will uh, give you an update on, on that. So I just want to give you a brief and uh, starting from in 2020, uh, 15. So we use uh, the templates of what uh, the TFCC uh, secretary has already provided us. So to be, to be brief, I just show you the, the year and the time of detection, the outbreak affected regions in the districts of Warada, and also the attack rate, uh, case fatality rates, and also the active uh, campaign uh, was started in the, the, the time of uh, control. So it is one slide, but it is a lot of information within one slide. So you can uh, see from it and uh, in uh, 2015, uh, in week of seven, uh, the, the first outbreak was detected in four regions in 26 districts. And uh, the, at that time, the attack rate was uh, 6.23, uh, and uh, the case fatality rate uh, was uh, 1.3, but no OCV at that time, uh, as you all remember. And uh, we controlled using different pillars, different interventions in uh, almost, a, it takes one year. And the second uh, year of the outbreak is 2016. That's almost in uh, within 20 weeks because like uh, when we controlled in uh, the first one in here, uh, controlled in uh, 18 weeks of uh, WHO week of uh, 2016. And also we face again in different areas that the number of uh, regions and districts also increased in six region and three were districts. And also the attack rate was increased, uh, 5.4 uh, uh, and also the uh, case fatality rate was 0 0.8. And also there is no OCV, but uh, we controlled the, the outbreak in uh, the after uh, like 30 uh, weeks of uh, intervention. And also the last, the, again, it's happened in, uh, uh, in 2016 and 17, in uh, 14, six uh, week of WHO uh, reporting week. And also that in that case, uh, five regions are affected. For you, just for general information, currently we have 12 regions and two city administrations. That's why we are counting uh, uh, regions here. And then 28 uh, Waradas, some of the Waradas are have recurrent outbreak and them, some of the districts also have a new outbreak history. Then the attack rate also here is 16.1, uh, and also the uh, case fatality rate also less, and there is no OCV. Then I will go directly when the OCV are started in 2029, 19. Uh, it, the outbreak was started in uh, 17 weeks of uh, uh, reporting week of WHO, and in the SF affects seven regions and 24 waradas or districts. And uh, the attack rate was uh, 19.2, and uh, the case fatality rate was uh, 1.4. But at that time, we provide OCV. We started to uh, use OCV for reactive campaign. So we did 98.2%. Uh, uh, it was uh, accepted. Uh, I can say there is no hesitancy at that time for uh, vaccination, especially for OCV. And then we controlled, you can see here, uh, it started in uh, week 17 and we controlled in week 49. 
that's not only with that of the OCV, but the other pillars, wash, risk communication, community engagement, and others also there. And then uh, we had a get an outbreak in uh, 2019 and 2020. That is the, the era of COVID. And then in this period, uh, it's happening in uh, week 15 and in three regions and 25 districts. And the attack rate was at 7.3 and the case fatality rate was 1.14. And uh, we also use again, OCV as a reactive campaign, and we uh, covered 97.8%, and we controlled in uh, 26 WHO reporting week. And again, uh, we faced uh, an outbreak in the same year, and uh, in, uh, especially in 2021 and 2022, uh, we faced, that is the last outbreak in Ethiopia for the last six uh, months. So uh, we've uh, reported, we detect the cases in uh, three weeks of uh, WHO reporting week and uh, in two regions and four districts. So in this case, uh, the case fatality is, uh, uh, attack rate was 20.1 20, 20 and the case fatality is uh, 1.04. In this case, uh, when we compare with the last uh, four and five years uh, history, the case fatality and the attack rate was minimized or decreased, especially the, uh, the, the case fatality rate was decreased by 50% because of the coordinated efforts and the detection uh, period and the surveillance and the response as well, and OCV too. Uh, so the, we provide OCV and the coverage was 98% uh, percent and we controlled in the uh, third week of July and um, third week of WHO reporting week in 2022. So, so far we, are, we don't uh, have any uh, outbreak or report on uh, 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 cholera. So here is the last uh, case reported. So you can check here, yeah, find here. So the August 9, the first index case was reported from Oromia region, one of the region in Ethiopia. And there was some lag time to uh, report to the national. So we we get the update immediately. Then we can uh, we started the intervention in September two, and uh, we uh, use different interventions, different pillars to control the outbreak. And then uh, it takes some time. And also we started here the OCV campaign because uh, of preparing the plan and submitting to the GTFCC and others that takes some time. And we provide in uh, December 23, uh, the uh, OCV campaign. So we controlled in January 15, and so far we don't have now uh, still the, the case. So here is the Somali region and the Romia, uh, the districts, and also the coverage, attack rate, and the case fatality rate, and also the others as well here. Uh, so the key achievements and main challenge, uh, especially for, uh, for on, on, in regards of uh, cholera, I just bring here the few points only. Uh, one of the, the, the uh, uh, achievements, we redirect the leftover vaccine. When we say leftover, we are not saying the vaccine that's not used much, but when we prepare planning for uh, specific districts, and also we uh, also prioritize our uh, areas, especially the nearby districts, and not only district, we also consider the village, the high risk areas for uh, cholera. And then uh, when we get uh, additional doses from that specific district, we reuse for that uh, high risk uh, village without requesting additional funds, but we use that specific uh, vaccine using the available resources within the government uh, uh, pocket. And close collaboration with the API, uh, as yesterday was we'll dis discussing how uh, the countries are uh, aligning the response, reactive campaign and routine immunization and others. We have a good relationship with the ministry's team. Of course, we are also uh, one of the, the, uh, the technical arm for health uh, ministry but we are working together with API team at national, at district and then the regional level too. And also implementation uh, of all the campaigns uh, in order to avoid duplication of efforts and others. The high level coordination platform, especially during planning and implementation as well, including other sectors, including Minister of Water and also like as a team that's uh, work on the national uh, health security. 
And also we developed, uh, we already have, but revised the national guideline for cholera control. And also uh, we developed a plan. Uh, as you know, the national strategy for cholera uh, control already uh, launched. That's also one of the achievement based on that. We already approved uh, get uh, uh, 8.6.8 uh, million dollars uh, approved by uh, GTFCC on November 3, and we are also waiting the release. So there are also challenges. One of the challenges as I raised yesterday, uh, li like limited uh, cold chain uh, rooms for vaccination because a lot of multiple outbreaks are there and uh, multiple uh, vaccination also go uh, going there. So because of that, we have a limited cold chain rooms that's uh, to uh, plan to undertake by uh, round is to uh, provide OCV and also let release of operational costs for reactive company especially. But uh, to uh, avert this kind of challenge, we use uh, pre-financing from, uh, from the government side, as well as from the uh, reprogramming other uh, project uh, financing. And uh, the other uh, challenge is the tight schedule or calendar for, uh, especially for COVID, COVID vaccination. And as I said, there are also uh, frequent uh, emerging and emerging diseases. And also, uh, as you all know, they are having internal uh, conflict and uh, war and the drought also there. So that's also another challenge. So the priority for 2022 to 2023 is one of its, uh, the, the critical area is to finalize the technical action plan for uh, until July. So this is already on the way and to disseminate to the really uh, relevant stakeholders and partners that's also on the plan so to finalize this one and prepare high level advocacy meeting by higher officials by inviting the special uh, specialist ministries and as well as partners that's also planned for august uh, we also we as the other ministries also engaged on this as well and after undertaking the preventive campaign when the vaccine arrives from uh, gtfcc because we are waiting that one as well i think this is my last slide uh, i thank you so much amasa ginalo